Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Megan with you again. I am going to be reading a story about Easter still, but this is a little bit of a different story because who traditionally delivers our Easter baskets? A bunny. But in this story, it's a T-Rex. And the story is called T-Rex Cottontail. And it's written by Lois G. Grambling and it's illustrated by Jack E. Davis. And remember we said illustrated means they drew and colored the pictures and by the author is who wrote the words. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And T-Rex was looking in the mirror. Not bad, he said, not bad at all. Just then the doorbell rang, he answered it. It was his friends, Diplodocus, Stegosaurus, and Iguanodon. Oh boy, big friends. Why the funny ears and big cotton tail? Diplodocus asked. Tomorrow is Easter, Stegosaurus said, not Halloween. Peter Cottontail, a.k.a. the Easter Bunny, has a cold, T-Rex said, and he asked me to deliver his eggs tomorrow. Oh man, the Easter Bunny has a cold. But you can't hop, Iguanodon said. I've been practicing, T-Rex said. Do you think a T-Rex can hop? The three friends looked around. Where are the eggs, they asked. At his house, T-Rex answered. I'm hopping down there now to get them. Diplodocus, Stegosaurus, and Iguanodon watched as T-Rex wobbled and hopped out the door. I'm afraid those eggs are in for a shell-shattering trip tomorrow, Stegosaurus said. T-Rex can practice when he gets back, Iguanodon said. Too late, Diplodocus said, looking out the window. Oh, do you think he's going to make a good Easter bunny? Poor T-Rex! Wobbling and hopping up the bumpy trail, he stumbled and fell and landed car splat on Peter Cottontail's basket full of eggs. Oh no, what a mess. See all the eggs that splattered? Oh, that silly T-Rex. T-Rex walked slowly into his house. What now, his friends asked. I don't know, T-Rex answered. Oh, I think T-Rex is feeling a little sad, don't you? Suddenly, T-Rex had an idea. We'll get more eggs, he said, and color them. Then I'll have some to deliver Easter morning. Where will we get more eggs, Stegosaurus asked. Hen gave all of hers to Peter Cottontail. There must be more out there somewhere, T-Rex said. Diplodocus grabbed the empty basket. You stay here and practice, he said. We'll get the eggs. Boy, these are some nice friends T-Rex has. By the end of the afternoon, T-Rex had gotten the wobble out of his hop and his friends had gotten more eggs. T-Rex was pleased. Where did you get them, he asked. From duck and goose and turkey, Stegosaurus said. In one from Screech Owl. We better start coloring them now, Iguanodon said, or we won't be done till dawn. Late that night, all the eggs were colored. T-Rex and his friends were asleep and snoring. Okay, so they got duck, goose, turkey, and even an owl egg. Those are some pretty fun eggs. Unfortunately, when the sun came up, T-Rex and his friends were still asleep, but the children weren't. They were at their windows, awake and waiting. Shouts of, where are you, Easter Bunny? Could be heard. Where is the Easter Bunny? T-Rex heard them. He jumped up. He put on his funny ears, his cotton tail, long twitching whiskers, jacket, and bow tie. I'll save an egg for Peter Cottontail, T-Rex said to his friends. Meet me at his house later and we'll give it to him then, he said, hopping out the door. So there goes the T-Rex Cottontail. The children were still at their windows, waiting and worrying until T-Rex hopped into view. Cool, they shouted. That's one really big. The children were still at their windows, waiting and worrying until T-Rex hopped into view. Cool, they shouted. That's one really big cottontail hopping down the bunny trail. That is a big bunny, huh? Is that really a bunny? That's a dinosaur. When all the eggs, except one, had been delivered, T-Rex started hopping back up the bumpy trail. Thanks for our eggs, Mr. Really Big Cottontail, the children called after him. Anytime, T-Rex called back. The children look pretty happy, and so does our T-Rex. 
Oh, here they are outside of Pete and Cottontail's house. T-Rex hopped to Peter Cottontail's house. His friends were already there. Do you have the egg, they asked. T-Rex nodded and rang the doorbell. Peter Cottontail answered it. T-Rex handed Peter Cottontail the egg. For me, Peter Cottontail asked. T-Rex and his friends nodded. No one has ever given me an Easter egg before. He said, thank you. How nice. Peter Cottontail usually gives the eggs. He doesn't get them. Just then, the eggs began to crack open. Crack, 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 crack. And dozens of tiny ducks started quacking. And dozens of tiny geese started honking. And dozens of tiny turkeys started gobbling. Gobble, 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 gobble. This is the best Easter ever, the children shouted. <gasps> so they all got their animals. Then Peter Cottontail's egg began to crack open. Crack! And what do you think's in his egg? We had duck eggs, we had our turkey eggs, we even had some goose eggs. Which one are we missing? <gasps> yep, the screech owl. And one tiny screech owl started screeching. Peter Cottontail was surprised and delighted. This is the noisiest Easter ever, he said. The noisiest and the best. I shall never forget it. Nor shall we, said T-Rex and his friends. Happy Easter, everybody. Okay, so that is our T-Rex happy Easter. So now we're going to do a little dance. Go there with me. And it goes, it's similar to another song called I'm a Little Teapot. So, I'm a little chicky ready to hatch, pecking at my shell, scratch, scratch, scratch. When I crack it open, I'll jump out, fluff my feathers and chirp, I'll shout. So, chirp. So, that's a little one. And now we're going to make something for our activity. So, most of you know that at Christmas time we make something called reindeer food for Santa's reindeer but today we're gonna make something called bunny bait and bunny bait is something we can leave out for the Easter bunny to see if we can either try and trap him or just provide a little snack for him so today I have some Quaker oats oatmeal so we're gonna just pour it in tell me when to stop stop Go. so that's how much oatmeal I have and then we're just gonna add some sweet things. I have some little sugar, of course it's green. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in, give it some color, woo, beautiful. And then all bunnies love some powdered sugar. So I'm gonna get some powdered sugar out here and we're gonna sprinkle that in. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it's wrapped up tight. Make sure it stays fresh. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and dump. Tell me when to stop with my powdered sugar. You think that's good? I think that's good. Now is the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and take and just flop, flop it all around. And then Make sure it's all broken up. Everything's good to go. Over. We're gonna look over here for our experiment. And did you hear I said egg experiment? Because it's an egg for Easter. So in my thing, I have an egg. And all I'm going to do is pour some vinegar on top of my egg. Cover it all up. Is our egg floating or is it sinking or is it kind of doing something? And then we're just gonna leave our egg sit here for a couple days and then I'll check back with it and let you guys take a look at what happens when an egg sits in vinegar for a couple days. Okay then, stay tuned, I'll see you later, bye. Hey guys, Miss Megan here again. I am back with our little egg experiment. This has sat for two days. And if you take a look, it seems like the shell is missing and you see this white foam on top. And that is probably our egg shell that's dissolved. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of here and then we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, so it is out. You can take a look. There's still some residue of a shell on there. I'm gonna go ahead, wipe it, and see if anything happens. 
cleaned up a little bit. Let me go ahead and wipe this side. Okay, so this is our shellless egg. What do you think? They said you should be able to bounce it. It looks like it's bouncing without breaking. It's still a little firm. It feels a little like a bouncy ball. It's pretty cool, huh? Hey guys, have a great Easter and we will see you later. Bye.